Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Cancer, Scorpion, Pisces. So let's take a look at the current energies between you and your person. Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Cups. So guys, we can say that this romantic connection is being challenged big time. I have to say that for some of you, the communication flow can be active, but you and your person cannot understand each other. There is a lot of noise in the connection, but no real chance to figure things out in a positive way. For others of you instead, the connection is kind of cold, almost a no contact situation if we follow the Five of Pentacles, so feeling left out in the cold. The Five of Wands can become an energy about inner turmoil, but also competition that can play against the connection. The Knight of Cups is the chance to share love, guys, meaning a love offer. We also got the Two of Cups in the challenge. This is a major question mark, guys. There is a slim chance to keep it alive. This is what I have to say. The Oracle cards that we got are meaningful because Orphaned can be the Five of Cups. We got it on your person's side. So it's a meaningful disappointment. Then Thinker, the opportunity for some of you in particular to go within in order to evaluate if this connection is truly the one that you want. It can be difficult to make peace with this person if we think about agreements that can be positive and beneficial for the connection. Message in a bottle, guys. There's going to be communication coming your way, eight of ones. You will have to evaluate what can be available because your person can almost try to offer you the opportunity to keep doing things in the same old way when the same old way doesn't work. So let me see, guys. Let me see the five of ones, five of pentacles combination of energies. It describes struggles, you know? The Emperor, taking charge and action, it's a mature energy. You can be more mature than your person, despite the High Priestess that they got, despite the Knight of Pentacles. What I mean is this thing, um, your person can try to almost force you guys to settle for a connection that can fulfill their desires, but without also fulfilling yours. Four of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Two of Swords again, recurrent energy on your side. The choice that some of you will have to make is one about the future of this connection if we think about the opportunity to build a family even. The Six of Cups and the Four of Wands can describe a family picture. This connection has been for a while, or for the most part, a fun deal when it comes to the intimate side between the two of you, now some of you can question the opportunity to find more. So you can even question the opportunity for your person to level up if we think about the Emperor. What's the challenge for this connection? Strength card, the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Two of Cups. A conversation about love, the Two of Cups, which can follow the Knight of Cups as well, and trust, the Strength card. Because if this is a no contact situation, there is going to be communication, yes, but what can be different is the perspective. Because you may expect from your person an approach that is driven kind of in favor of the opportunity to talk about the future. And what you may hear from them is an apology, yes, but not necessarily a plan when it comes to the future of the connection. And so that's why you may decide to hold back. The Eight of Wands can also be an energy about passion. So let's go for the Eight of Wands. Three of Pentacles, recurrent energy on your side. Some of you may desire to talk about the opportunity to build for the future your person can struggle with that. 
Eight of Pentacles, Effort, a mentality, a mindset, Three of Swords, what the connection has already experienced. The Orphan Oracle Card. And the Six of Pentacles, one man up, one man down dynamic. No equal give and take, guys. Love. That's why love can be difficult to honor in a situation like this one. Because even the apology that some of you can receive can be almost something convenient because your person may not be willing and ready to give up the pleasure to be in your company if we think about sex. For others of you, they can struggle with commitment and this can disappoint you for understandable reasons, if you ask me, but the situation seems to be one kind of difficult to handle. Your perspective about the connection, Three of Pentacles, Two of Swords, clarified by the Four of Cups. And guys, I have to say that this person can still be important for you, but chances are, in the back of your mind, there is a thought that is becoming more and more real about the fact that if this person chooses to stay the same, basically, you may not be interested in a romantic connection with them anymore. And if you are experiencing struggles when it comes to communication and the opportunity to find solutions together, you can close yourself more and more because you can even see in your person a mindset that is not really focused on the opportunity to understand you as much as you maybe are trying to understand them. You know, there is no balance. There is no balance. So let me see the two of swords as a recurrent energy, moon in the background, so fear factor, doubts, something that is not clear. Six of swords. This can go cold, guys, crickets, king of pentacles, you are the more grounded and the lovers, passionate connection. We got the devil and the lovers duality. The physical side is the main catalyst for the connection, but it is not enough, guys, especially if you want to build for the future. So it goes like this, almost. You may not be interested in keep doing things in the same old way, and your person can struggle to offer you something different. Their perspective about the connection, the A Priestess, the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups can become a missed chance. The Knight of Pentacles is interesting, guys, because it can be an offer of commitment, an apology, but for me, it can also become the offer that never comes because the night is the slowest of the four. I am leaning towards this scenario and I can understand that for some of you, this can be a disappointment, but we have to kind of evaluate the energies and this person, despite the eight priestess, which is an energy about wisdom, may prefer to avoid certain topics or certain issues when it comes to your connection. So. I want to see the Eight Priestess Hold on, yes, Page of Swords Kinda casual, gathering knowledge It's meaningful in a no-contact situation If you are interacting in a way that can be active but not necessarily productive Your person can be kinda superficial, you know They are not taking the situation seriously enough and there can be a verdict that may not be in their favor justice five of cups guys recurrent energy love is a question mark the chance to grow together is a question mark your person can struggle with the overall idea about a committed relationship. 
even the chance to build a family can be something that they are not even willing to consider, you know? If the topic comes up, they can say something like, well, well, um, we are going to see, you know, this is not a problem that I want to address right now. Let's talk about a mentality, I mean. What's the advice for you from the Tarot? Three of Cups, the Devil, and the Four of Swords. Again, fun connection, fun situation for a while, especially because of sex, the Devil. All of a sudden, some of you have gotten the pattern right because you basically understood that there is not so much other than physical pleasure available in a situation like this one. And words of love can be merely words, you know, so they can fly away almost. The Four of Swords is an energy about silence. So you have to go within. You have to think things straight when it comes to a pattern that may not be a positive one for the connection, the devil. It's a cycle, guys. So the two of you can be bound to each other somehow, some way, especially because of the lovers devil duality. The connection doesn't flow, guys. And so if the connection doesn't flow, it can be extremely difficult to take charge of the situation in a productive way because the two of you cannot find agreements. And this is already a, an outcome, you know, for the connection. How can we think about the future if we cannot fix even small issues about the current moment, the present time? Let me see the Four of Swords, guys. Knight of Pentacles, the offer that never comes. The topic that is avoided constantly. King of Swords. This is a conversation, message in a bottle. For you, the necessity to connect all the dots, something that the King of Swords can do. And this is the key to break free from the chains of the devilish cycle, the metaphorical chains, of course. Ace of Wands, this is what uh, is available, guys. That's for sure. But this is also what cannot be considered enough by those of you that uh, can resonate with the scenario. Sex is not enough anymore, at least. Maybe it was in the beginning when the connection took off. There is nothing wrong with that. Uh, but, you know, now we are at a different stage of the situation. And this different stage uh, can also offer a completion that may not be a pleasant one, but may very well be a necessary one. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.